The master bus secret that eluded me for years. Next on Music Surgery with me, Dr. Bob. Hey you guys, quickly before we get started, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. And don't forget to check out the Doctor's Lounge, my store, and the links to some great samples below in the description of this video. Everyone talks about compression and limiting, but the technique I'm about to show you made me nervous. I didn't quite understand it, and no one explained it to me in a way that I did understand it, so I never used it. Well, now it's taken my mixes to a new level, and I'm going to explain it to you in the way that really helped me understand it. Watch this. All right, you guys, a really important one this week. I was scared and intimidated and didn't quite understand this for a long time. So I'm going to put it into simple terms. Let me play the chorus in this. And here's my limiter. You'll see how much gain reduction I'm getting on my limiter to make things louder and more glued together. If I turn this off, now back on. So as you can see, this is my final limiter um, before I print my mix and it's making a huge difference. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a clipper and this is a clipper. And what a clipper does, the simplest way to put it is, all those peaks, those kicks and snares, it's kind of kind of shave those off a little bit and make things more compact. So that those transient peaks between, with the kick and the snare, will be reduced so they won't hit my limiter is hard and I can get more limiting. So what I want to show you is right now my my and and what I've played you so far this clipper is off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you this again and watch how my limiter is mostly affected by when the kick and the snare hit. And that's super easy to see. You can see it here and you can see it there. So now if I turn a clipper on, watch what happens. I'm going to turn this off again. Watch the, the difference in what's being smashed here in my final limiter. It won't be the peaks as much. It'll be kind of a solid smash. It won't be by the transients. Watch. It's off. Now on. So that's huge. You can hear the sound of it change. You can hear all the other instruments coming up louder with the drums, but the drums still have punch. That is what a clipper does. It's taking those transient peaks, peak level, and it's shaving those off, and it's bringing your mix together more so you can limit it even more and get it louder. Watch again. So here's, watch these meters, this and this. It's off. Now on. Amazing difference. That's what a clipper can do for you. Now there's other things about hard knee and soft knee and, and things like that that can get a little bit confusing. I don't want to get into that today. I just want to explain in terms that I can understand what a clipper actually does. And when you look at it that way, and you not only hear the difference, but you can see the difference in what's being limited here and here. And it's really going to give you a better shot at getting a full, loud mix with your limiter set with the clip right before it. As you can see, there is my limiter right there. 
and the orange clipper is right before it. I've just got this one on the end just to... I'm actually bringing it down, uh, the ceiling of it down just for the camera. But I'm just, I've got the, this one probably isn't really doing anything at all. I've just got it to just to catch in case something goes over. So put your clipper before your limiter and clip it and your mixes are going to come out even better. Well, there you go. Don't be afraid to use the clipper and shave off those transients to get a much fuller mix where everything is glued together nicely. Thanks as always for watching. Give me some comment love and a thumbs up below and hit me at drbobmusicsurgery at gmail.com if you want to say hello or you want me to work on your music. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you the next time the doctor's in.